Every time you want to see the glory of God revealed in your life, the Bible mandates that you walk in keeping with certain divine patterns. The glory of God does not just happen in the life of an individual. And I've taught you what the glory of God is. That the glory of God is a capture of everything that makes God God. His wisdom, His favor, His power, His goodness. The multifaceted dimensions of God being expressed in a man. I have taught you here again that your assignment as the believer is not just to fulfill God's mandate, but that your life eventually will evolve and become a manifestation of the glory of God. You believe that? In Exodus chapter 25, let's read verse 9, then we jump to 40. Exodus 25. This was Moses building the tabernacle in the wilderness. And he says, according to all that I showed thee, after the pattern of the tabernacle and the pattern of all the instruments thereof, even so thou shalt make it. In other words, you want to see my glory? You have to walk in keeping with certain patterns. Verse 40. And he encouraged him a second time. Look that thou make them after their pattern which was shown thee on the mount. So God gave Moses this revelation and said, reproduce this pattern if you want my glory to come and to rest. This is very powerful. Hallelujah. Exodus chapter 40 and verse 16. Pay attention please everyone. The Bible says, Thus did Moses according to all that the Lord commanded him. Those patterns now. So did he. Jump to verse 33 please. Jump to verse 33. He's about to finish the work according to the pattern. He reared up the court round about the tabernacle and the altar and set up the hanging of the court gate. Finally, Moses is done with the work. Watch what happens now. Verse 34. The Bible says, Then, then, only after the pattern was kept, a cloud, a symbol, a manifestation of God's glory covered the tent of the congregation and the glory of God filled the tabernacle. When he kept the pattern, the glory came in honor to that pattern that had been kept. Leviticus chapter 9 and verse 6. Popular scripture here. Leviticus chapter 9 and verse 6. And Moses said, This is the thing which the Lord commanded that ye should do. Then he says, After ye do that, the glory of the Lord shall appear unto you. So every time you see the glory of God revealed in the life of a man, financially, revealed spiritually, perhaps in ministry, revealed in terms of influence, every manifestation of the glory of God in the life of a man is an attestation to the fact that divine patterns have been kept somewhere. Did you get that? Every time you see the glory of God revealed in the life of a man, sustainably so it is proof that you have walked in keeping with God's pattern so you don't search for glory by searching for glory you search for glory by searching to know the patterns that the glory is connected to there is a spiritual pattern that will inevitably lead to kingdom influence there is a spiritual pattern that will inevitably lead to power in the spirit there is a spiritual pattern that will lead to leadership and excellence in life. There is a spiritual pattern, listen carefully, that will activate the prophetic within your spirit. There is a spiritual pattern that turns you into a warrior in the spirit. There is a spiritual pattern that makes you marvelously favored, even prosperous of the Lord. There is a spiritual pattern that controls longevity. There is a spiritual pattern that controls church growth and increase. It does not just happen. There is a spiritual pattern that makes for excellence within the secular system. Your assignment under God is that by the ministry of the teaching priest like you have received and you are receiving now to understand these divine patterns. Watch this. And submit yourself to engage them. I give you a guarantee by the integrity of God's word. When you understand these patterns and engage them, 
all that will be left in your life is the glory of God. So when you find people rise from their lowly estates in life and destiny, whether in ministry, in career, in family, in destiny, in whatever endeavor, it is because they have accessed certain divine patterns and engage them with understanding what suddenly turns a man of God who perhaps was a weak ordinary person to now become a voice that you can hear patterns patterns are we learning now what turns someone who once was maybe poor limited not able to meet his needs and that of the family and then Fast forward a few years and that person is being a blessing to the kingdom, living a life of dignity and honor. What is the difference? What sponsored that transition? Adherence to patterns. The same way the violation of patterns can deplete men from grace to grass. Did you hear that? From grace to grass. Our world sadly is full of people who were once anointed once influential, once wealthy, once powerful. For as long as you walk in keeping with divine patterns, I give you a guarantee by the integrity of God's word, there will not be decline in your life. It is true. God would not create a system that is so unpredictable. Your faith has to be anchored on something sure and steadfast. Are we together? We build products today and we give people guarantees that provided you are with this product, if this product is corrupted within this time, return it to our company. These are men as frail as we are because we believe that sustainability of any product brings credit and merit to the organization that builds that product. So we take responsibility when products fail, especially if it's not the making of the final consumer. A product, we have call, recalled cars, thousands of cars across the globe, recall them, not minding the burden of shipping it back to their original place because people were conscious of their reputation and they wanted to correct something that was a mass defect. If it is God that built this system, there has to be a level of stability within the system so that your faith is anchored on something sure and steadfast. It is by this truth that I dare to tell you that we are not teaching you cunningly devised fables. These are not even teachings that are my own invention or our own invention. We are too young to invent something that runs the lives and the destinies of men. These are time-tested mysteries. Mysteries that were handed over to us by many who today have joined the cloud of witnesses. And that if you can listen and understand these patterns, regardless what is happening in the world, for you, your testimony is that your life will continually become a manifestation of God's glory. You believe that? Shout a loud Amen. So I said that God's methods are far above our methods and that there are divine patterns that connect to glory. Now listen carefully. Followership is one of the mysteries of the kingdom by which men become mighty. Followership is one of the mysteries of the kingdom by which men become mighty. Let me take it again. Followership is one of the mysteries of the kingdom by which men, ordinary men, weak men, limited men, become mighty. Every time you find a man of stature and strength in life and destiny, especially in the spirit, among the many patterns that were kept has been the law of followership. Matthew 4, 19. Matthew 4, 19. Jesus said unto them, Follow me. Who is speaking to them now? Who is he speaking to? Weak men, ordinary men, not necessarily failures. Some of them were businessmen. They had some results. But with respect to eternal things, with respect to the kingdom and God's program, many of them were largely weak and limited people. And then he brings them together 
and says, follow me. Hallelujah. He says, and I will make you. I like this part. Follow me. You are made among other factors by who you choose to follow. Did you hear that? You are made in life and destiny by who you choose to follow. Follow me and I will make you. In this case, fishers of men. But he can make you anything that is befitting for your destiny. Now, Acts chapter 4 and verse 13. Just to establish the fact that followership is a mystery in the kingdom by which men become mighty. So, in Matthew chapter 4, he meets weak people and tells them, follow me and I will make you. By the time we get to Acts chapter 4, please, give it to us, verse 13. The Bible says, now, when they saw the boldness of Peter, contextually speaking, this was when the man at Gate Beautiful, remember? When the man was healed and then the council summoned Peter and he was making defense as to where he got the power to raise that man from the ground. Now, when they... They saw the boldness of Peter and John. They perceived that they were unlearned and ignorant men. I hope you know that these were men that those guys knew. They knew their yesterday. They knew how weak and limited they were. The Bible says they marveled. The men had changed. They were no longer the timid fishermen, confused, disoriented about life. The Bible says, and they took knowledge of them. This was the secret that they had been with Jesus. Did you see that? They took knowledge that the reason why these men transited from fishermen to apostles, weak men, confused men, to mighty warriors for the kingdom is because they had been with Jesus. Followership in truth is one of the mysteries of the kingdom by which we become mighty write this down please human models human models and i'll define for you shortly what a model is human models inspire hunger and passion in the hearts of those who follow them human models inspire hunger and they inspire passion in the hearts of those who follow them human models Everywhere you find models, whether in sports, you find models in ministry, you find models in business. Among the many things that the models do is that they inspire, number one, hunger. They inspire passion in them that follow them. We have all kinds of names to call models in our world. We call them for some influencers, we call them references. We call them whatever name we find. But write this down. A model is an example. A model is an example. A model is a prototype. A model is a template. A model is a reference. Let me take it again. A model is an example. When you call men or call things models, it means there are examples. A model is a prototype. A model is a template. A model is a reference. And may I add one more description? Models in many regards are foundations. Because every other thing that is built is built after the pattern of the model. Models are examples, they are prototypes, they are templates, they are references, and they can be foundations. This is very powerful. Now write this down. Transformation and replication. Two words you may want to underline. Transformation and replication is very easy when there are models and references transformation and replication are we together now um it's been a long time since i had an example let me have four gentlemen from the worship team come four gentlemen come now all of you watch this these are four fine gentlemen from the worship team i want to show you the power of models are we together 
Now, watch this. Sam, you are going to lead. All of you will follow him. You can lead anywhere you want to go and they follow. Are we together? Yes. Now, go ahead. Anywhere at all. Watch this. Their job is to follow. Whose job is the hardest here? The one leading. Are you seeing that? The remaining need to follow. And they are following. He's just walking now. You try it again. Go ahead. They are following. The hardest job here is the job of the one at the first position. You see that now? Because wherever he leads. Now imagine that. Keep, keep moving. Imagine where he's taking them to. Did you see that? So what do you think will happen in the next few seconds? <laughs> Who sinned that they failed? They simply followed, but they followed wrongly. Are we together? Now, gentlemen, stand here, all four of you. Every one of you, you are at liberty to guess your way around life. Are you ready? Walk anywhere you want to go, hoping you are at the right place. Go anywhere watch this these guys all want to make it some want to make money others want ministry to work i want you to watch and learn continue look at this sam is on his way this way david is on his way this gentleman this guy is angry i'm five years in ministry this thing is not working i'm showing you the life of some of you right now now watch this some of them are believers. Look how smart, handsome, and well-dressed they are. You would think their destiny will respect their looks, their clothes. As healthy as they are. This is 2017. Now 2018. Now 2019. Now 2020. Some of them are even praying while they are doing this. God, why is my life like this? I am moving in circles. I've been in Abuja since before some of these little children, you call it, were born. And now they are the ones who are my employees. Watch this. I got first class in school. I agree and I respect you. This is a mistake of many of you. Thank you so much, gentlemen. Now stop where you are. Which of them is worthy of your following? If I ask you, choose one to follow. <laughs> Do you know why you are afraid? There is no organization to their path. Any one of them can be a failure. How am I sure that walking with David will not be a risk? Look where he's standing. This my man is already even standing close to this place. Now, Sam, come. Two of you walk together. You follow him. And then the remaining keep doing what you are doing. I want you to learn. Watch this. Which pattern looks more worthy of your followership? Are you seeing that there is some organization here going on? You see that now? Because we are working based on the assumption that this man knows where he's going. We hope we are right. And this one is following. This one looks like he's now joining them. He's tired of moving his way. He's already coming close. Thank you guys. Watch this. Let me tell you this. I want you to listen very carefully. Transformation and replication is only as hard as the distance between you and a model. For as long as you do not have worthy models or references, becoming is very difficult and very hard. Now watch this. Sam is a worshiper. Come. It is easier in the presence of this man for this man to become a worshiper. Am I right on that? The reason is because based on our assumption that he's ahead of him in terms of grace, experience, influence, and access. Now, this man can leverage on that provision and become easily. Am I right on that? Yes. Come. Come, Dave. So if this guy is a businessman, say a multi-millionaire, not a thief, not a crook. You mean it? 
Am I prophesying? This is my people like money. Make sure you love Jesus above money. Say amen. amen. Okay, so since we've started, let's continue. So this man, remember what is happening in the economy. This guy has distinguished himself. Now here comes Dave, wanting to also be blessed financially. And he's sincerely going around in circles. Are you seeing that now? And he's wondering, is it that this thing cannot work? When God wants to help such a man, God reduces the distance between you and a model. You see, one of the ways God answers prayer is by introducing men to your life. Every time you are praying, keep looking out. Who is coming as an answer to this prayer? One last time, Sam, you take the lead again. All of you follow him. This is the intent of the teaching tonight. To bring organization and excellence to your life. To compress time. To show you that everything you see in prophecy, you can become. Not by guessing your way. There is an ancient path already. The path to the anointing. The path to glory. The path to power. The path to increase. Guessing your way around is number one, pride. Number two, programming difficulty and pain. There is nothing that is new under the sun. Not making money, not doing ministry, not raising children. There are people who have excelled commendably in every area. Lay your hands on your head in one minute and say, Lord, I am tired of going round in circles. Thank you, guys. Thank you. I'm tired of going round in circles. Is a man of God praying. You're about to hear something that will change your life. Now I know there is a way. There is an easier way my family can rise. There is a way the anointing can come. I've been searching for the healing anointing. Genuinely. Pray. In one minute. That will show me the path of life. It is in your light that we see light. still praying few more seconds Hallelujah.